All right, my friends, we are wrapping up the year, wrapping up the year of this journal and the journey that we have been on through it. I've got a manila file folder out and I'm just going to cut it down. I'm just marking it and um, we'll cut it down and kind of curve the edges just to kind of get an idea of how it's going to look. Now that I've got it cut down, um, I'm going to go to town putting papers down. I just went through my stash and pulled out anything that seemed fun and different and um, that I haven't used in a while and I just wanted it to feel free and curious. I'm putting it all down with some matte gel. I've got my abstract um, uh, mask out and I'm just using my black gesso and my tub roller tub and I'm just stamping with that. I love stamping with my stencils. I love the inconsistency and in how it looks. I'm just going to stamp around the edges and then I'm going to roll a little bit in there because I want a little bit bolder um, spots as well. I'll come back and kind of spray it and pick it up to soften it and age it. So the stenciling's not dry yet and I wanted to put my paint down um, so that it would kind of blend together and I'd get some, some smeary spots. I didn't want it to be super crisp and clean. I wanted it to be messy and and grungy and rustic and so I've got burnt sienna and prism violet out here and I just want to kind of mess it all up. I want to make it rough and f not feel perfect and pretty. And again that stenciling is still wet so it's that black's kind of mixing in with the paint and then just brayering over the stenciling kind of fades it then I'll spray some water on there and pick it up and soften it. to the inside or the outside cover now and I'm going to really kind of duplicate my steps I'm just grabbing some papers I'm being a little bit more selective now that this is the outside cover and um, we'll ha it's I wanted it to be bright and um, fun because that has been my discovery this year of curiosity is all the fun that I can have in the not knowing and the trying.
Now that I've got all my paper down and I like the placement of it, I'm coming back over with some raw umber and I want to grungy that up. And I don't want it to be too grungy, but just enough to, I want it to look worn. I want it to look handled and aged and, and all that good stuff that comes with vintage feel. Adding just a little bit of gesso with my brayer. I wanted it to be light because I loved how it was how the cover looks. I love it's it feels like a patchwork quilt. There's so many stories in a quilt. And so I wanted to just highlight the area because I knew that I wanted to put my words down. So I wanted it to be soft but still grungy and still rough like the whole thing. And so that's why I'm using my brayer. So I wanted to put a little bit of black pattern on the front, kind of like the inside. This is the Playful Flower Stencil. And I'm just going to stamp that out. And then I'm just going to spray that and soften it down just a little bit like I've done before. I'm stenciling out my my phrase for the front always stay curious with my old type text large stencil onto tissue paper and I will cut that out and put that down with Liquitex fluid matte medium. I've punched holes in the sides and then I've just got some ribbon. I'm going to double knot that and use those for my ties. I do put in hole reinforcements. I tied it and then realized I hadn't put the hole reinforcements in. So I do do that. And there's my lovely little cover and I'm going to kind of shade and edge it with my archival stamp pad and then I will see you soon. Well, hello my loves and happy Sunday to you. I have been creating my cover already for you and I love it and I love how I do my journal covers um, this way. And so I want to share just a couple of things with you about my journal and what's to come and then um, we'll kind of wrap it up. But First and foremost, I want to say that today, when you see this video, is the last day for the um, after Christmas sale that has all of my 8x10s, 8x8s, 
selected 12 by 12, some selected larger, like 24 by 30s, 24 by something like that. Uh, originals are all 60% off. And so everybody's been getting some good ones, so there's still some left. And you can check that out and see if there's something there that might work for you, for your personal journey, for someone else's personal journey. But 60% off all of those originals. There's about 80, or there was about 80 that we put into the shop in that section. There's no coupon needed. And um, let's see, everything's already marked down. Okay, so that's that. And then also, I just want to remind you that coming up in a couple weeks, uh, the doors to the membership are going to be opening as well. And um, I'm only opening the doors now twice a year. So uh, if you're thinking about it, keep that in mind. I'll keep reminding you. Um, it'll be in the newsletter, the weekly newsletter too. If you don't get the weekly newsletter, then you can sign up below in the YouTube description box. So all the stencils that I use today, um, all the supplies, the link is down below that links you to the blog where I can list out all the supplies and all that kind of stuff. So, okay, I think that is all I need to tell you. So let's take a look down here. So my cutie patootie cover, look at this chunk, this chunky goodness. So, um, this is my cover. I love doing my covers this way. I love the freedom of expression on our covers. Just, uh, I used collage paper. Um, I just made it fun and that went along with my word for the year for, for 2023 was curious. And so it worked, it worked, it worked. And you know, if you do your cover this way, you can always do your cover first. I typically don't do my cover first because I'm really messy and think paint gets everywhere and it's just, but if you do your cover this way, you could do your cover first um, and then just take it off when you create. However, the reason, one of the reasons why I don't do my cover first too is that I know that my journey through my journal will change and shift through an entire year's worth of creating. And so um, I want the cover to reflect the life that has happened within the pages. And that has definitely happened for me this year that um, life has thrown curveballs and, and curiosity has happened over and over and I've discovered things. And I, this is really a reflection of, that, of, of this year that we have spent together creating. So um, I, I just want to talk really quickly. So I, um, this is my, this is the journal that I've been creating in, and it, it came through, like halfway through the year, I realized that this size was not a good size for me. I need bigger. I want bigger. And, um, and I went smaller because I thought it would be easier for me to create in, and that isn't true for me. So the next journal that I make, which we will do next week, I will be creating a new journal. Next week, we will do an entire flip through of my journal. And we will talk about some of the things that I have discovered and learned over this last year and why they're important and why this, this baby right here is important. Um, so we'll be doing all of that next week. Right now, I'm going to go to my last page of my journal, and we're going to finish that together now. And then next Sunday, I will have I will do a flip through. I will create a new journal, and we will and, and a new journal page with my word of the year. So that is all coming next Sunday. But this has had a lot of life and a lot of experience, experiments and a lot of curiosity this baby has. And what an amazing year it has been. But for now, I am just going to go to the back page. Actually, I'm not even going to put that on there because I know how I am. I'm going to go to the back page and create my my page in the back. Now I'm just going to turn the camera on and go to town. Mixed Media Insider members, I will of course be doing a breakdown for you for this page if you 
um, want more detail. It's hard to get it flat anymore. Um, the only thing that I know about this last page, well, a couple things I know. This right here was in my stash of collage papers, and I I'm in love with this. <laughs> so this is going in here somehow. I'm not exactly sure how, but it is. Oh, I love that. And if you are, have been around me at all, you know that the last page is very, very simple because I do all of my, I do my writing back here. I write down the year. I, I talk about what has happened. Um, these are definitely, I mean, every single journal that I have has that in, in them. And so that is the last page. I, I just kind of document everything. So I have this sheet of paper and I also have the stencils that I used out. I didn't use that one. I could use that one. We'll see. But this is Playful Flowers. This is Abstract Patterns, Old Type Text Large. And then, of course, I have a couple other uh, numbers and fonts out here. I don't know if I'll use these or not or what I will use on this page. But that is what we're going to do right now. Finish this up. Ooh, that, that even looks like a landscape, doesn't it? Oh, I don't know how I don't know how I'm going to use it, but I'm going to use parts of it. I don't. Know. Okay, see, I'm like getting lost in it already. All right, so um, that is my what we've done so far. That's my journal um, and just kind of some thoughts about it. Uh, we'll talk more in depth about. The, my process this year and what I've learned and the, in the, the shift that I have felt within me and um, why some things are so very important. We'll talk about all of that next week. Right now I want to get her finished and then we will start anew next week with a new word, a new journal, and a new journal page. All right, my loves, I hope you enjoy this last page and that you have enjoyed the cover. And I hope that you have a wonderful new year, that 2024 brings, brings a knowingness in you that you can do anything. You can make it through anything. And that 2024 brings peace in so many ways in our hearts and our lives and our world. And I hope that you... Um, find your creative curiosity too in the next year if you haven't already and i hope that you always always know that you are <laughs>